First order of business is approval of the May 23rd minutes. Um, can I get a motion to approve? Yes. Thank you, Mike. And a second. second. I'll second it. Thank you. All right. Is there any discussion or anything on the minutes that anybody saw that needed corrected? All right. Well, then uh, uh, let's make a, a vote for uh, approval of the minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Or raise your hand. Aye. <laughs> Any opposed? All right. Thank you. Uh, May 23rd minutes have been approved. All right. So the next item up for business is the ever important one is the HRC schedule and meeting time. Uh, Sam, do you want to take this one and kind of? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so we have. We've been trying to find a great time to meet for what feels like the last year at this point. Um, I think we're going on like six months now, eight months. Um, needing to know if this time is available and, and open for you guys. Do we want to keep it at the last Monday of, well, the fourth Monday of the month at uh, 11 to noon? Is there a time that may work better? Um, I know that we had discussed previously that there was the potential of doing quarterly visits. I know I think that's something that Mike had suggested was doing a quarterly visit in person and then the other two would be virtual. Just wanted to get a read, especially now that we have Mindy and Kevin with us, uh, what schedules looked like. Time works well for me. My schedule is pretty flexible though. Nina, is it convenient for you to do the virtual yes. fourth Monday? Mm -hmm. Okay. Aaron. Mm -hmm. Anthony, is it is this better doing it virtual, especially with the business going, or is there um is well the vir yeah, sorry, the virtual certainly helps. Um I'll just kind of do it on a case by case. I hate to be so uh non committal to it, but uh my busy season will actually start up in September through Christmas, so uh, might be tough. I might have to pop in and pop back out or something, but I'll try to make as many as I can for sure. Fantastic. I appreciate that. Mike? Yeah, yeah, this is like, you know, I disagree with virtual, but I'm willing to do whatever we need to to try and make meetings happen. Okay, I appreciate that. Helen? It works. Okay, Mindy? Yeah, you know, virtual is um, better because I typically work during the day, so I can maybe kind of, I can work that in a little better. Okay, perfect. Thad, is it our right with your schedule still? Yep. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we'll do is moving forward, it'll be the fourth Monday of every month from 11 to noon. I can send out invites so that way it's on your calendars if that is helpful. So that way you guys have like, say, six months worth um, of you know blocks of time on your calendar and then when we get to it I'll obviously that's up to the chair and the, the vice chair which we'll talk about here in a minute but um, I'll leave it up to the board to determine what months work best to meet in person I would assume that you know Nina would want to have a meeting in person maybe closer to the skateboard competition or something just throwing throwing it out there not saying that's what we do just right. as a suggestion if there are events that you know it would be better to do a face to face then I'll just leave that up to you all to determine you know what I can do to assist and help and we'll get the room reserved and and that type of thing so moving forward we'll do that today I'll send out um probably the next 6 months worth of meetings just so that you guys have it on the calendar and um, then I'll do follow ups with the agendas once we figure those out each each time. OK, awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. And yes, thank you, everybody, for being here and giving your time to be uh, present for this meeting. I appreciate it. Dad, can I uh, ask uh, Sam something real quick? Can I ask Sam something real sure. quick? Sure. Uh, Sam, will you also send out It's me? Trust me, it's just me. A roster of who's on the commission when you send yeah. those out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. I will do that. And on our previous roster, it had the phone number provided on the application, the email provided on the application, and then whatever name was used on the application. So if someone's name is 
Charles and they go by Chuck, make sure I know that. Otherwise, you're coming out as as Charles okay. on that roster. So, but yes, great suggestion. Perfect. <clears throat> Are there any further questions or information needed about our schedule and meeting time? All right, then we're going to the next thing on the agenda, and that is um, the new position. The vice chair position is now available. Um, the lovely Meredith will no longer be with us as she has other responsibilities to attend to that will take her away. Um, Nina, is your hand up for something else or did it was did you already get that answered? Uh, one more thing, only because I don't always know people. If if we can do quick introductions and kind of especially with new people here when you have, you know, when you think it's appropriate and they say 30 seconds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and do that before we get into the vice chair. So uh, hello, everyone. I'm Thad McCullough. I am the uh, chair of the Human Relations Commission. And oh God, I don't even know when I started. Has it been a year? I don't know if it's oh, been yeah. a year. Um, so uh, and so I am uh, I am the uh, co-founder of a nonprofit uh, called the West End Connection that is focused on creating a good vibes culture and Western independence through supporting philanthropically the uh, LGBTQ plus community, animal welfare, community care and the arts. Let's go. I'm going to go down the line and call people out. So next, Nina. Oh, well, I'm not ready. No. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm Nina Falls, and uh, I uh, I live here in Independence about 30 years, and uh, I have uh, been on human relations different times in a continual, uh, maybe about 10 years, but I'm guessing. And um, also the things that uh, I, have, I have a passion for people. Uh, and not for technology, trust me on this one, but uh, I do have a passion for people and I try to be a good representation out in the community. I work for Link. We are community organizers and I've uh, been working for them 16 years and I've been with Link since they started, whether they had two phones and a table. And that was a long time ago, but they're community organ organizers and their office is on Broadway. And, and look up LINC because we do great things and they're a good partnership uh, organization with anything you do. Uh, another thing, I'm part of the community of concerned citizens. They're an organization that um, sort of started in a situation where people weren't getting hired, uh, people of color weren't getting hired, and that was long ago, 30 years ago with the city, but now they're more like community support and um, they do a lot of things to keep people's cultures alive and anyone can join. And uh, if anyone would ever like to join, I'll give you the contact for information, but they're community of concerned citizens and they con they're considered a city organization as far as attached to the city more so. And uh, the meetings are at St. Paul AME Church right across from the park that we did a dedication in for Hiram Young. Hiram Young was one of the richest people in Independence at one time, and uh, he he's a millionaire. And he was well at the time he was considered, uh, but he was African American, and he made the wills and the the different you know the the wills and the spokes that took people west, and that's why he was one of the richest people in Independence. But the army took all his money, and he had to move. But um, I, I really enjoy uh, diversity, and um, I enjoy children and older people and everyone. So uh, that's all I have to say. I guess that's enough. Nina Falls, thank you. Thank you, Nina. All right, next on this little invitation here is uh, Anthony Hammond. Hey everyone, uh, as Thad said, I'm Anthony Hammond. Uh, I've lived in Independence, I believe it's 16 or 17 years. Uh, moved here from the central part of the state. Um, one of those nerds that I read all the uh, 
city council agendas. I go through the line. I just have always been that way since I was honestly a little kid. I used to read the newspaper and read all through the political stuff. Um, don't have nearly the background of a lot of folks on here as far as my volunteer efforts. That's been mainly with pets, uh, dogs and cats, uh, through some animal rescues that I've worked with over the years. Uh, still active in a couple of those. Thought I'd give people a shot, see if they do any better than some of these wonderful animals. Uh, but um, yeah, I like the committee. I like to uh, get some activities going and hopefully uh, build a better, bigger presence for us. Uh, and so we can make a difference for a lot of folks that uh, might need some help out there. So that's my spiel. All right. Thank you, Anthony. Next up, uh, Kevin Clark, please introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kevin Clark. I work re fully remote for the University of North Carolina on the pharmacy IT side. So unlike Nina, I love technology, uh, but not so much in my free time since I do it for a living. So if you have computer problems, please do not contact me. Uh, <laughs> apart from that, I work part time at Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts, Starlight Theater and T-Mobile Events Center. So love anything and everything arts related. I also volunteer at I don't even know how many arts organizations in Kansas City. Um, so I kind of like the introvert and extrovert worlds. I've been in independence now a little over a year. I grew up in the Blue Springs Independence area. And now that I've actually been living here for a year, I just wanted to get more involved. All right, thank you, Kevin. All uh, right, next up I have Aaron Kennedy. Oh, I'm off mute. Good. Hi, um, I'm Erin Kennedy. Um, I have been on this commission since I think like March or April, I want to say, since the spring. Um, my day job is I'm a project manager at Midcontinent Public Library. Um, I love public service. I've lived in Independence. I grew up here, moved away for a while and moved back and bought a house here in 2019. So love the community. Um, Love, love being here to try to do great things for the city. Thank you, Erin. All right, next up is Helen Hurley. Hello, everyone. I'm Helen Hurley. Um, I serve as a secretary for the Human Relations Commission and have been a member for about a year. And prior to that, had served on the DEI um, committee. And I've been a resident of Independence for a little over 13 years, grew up in the Kansas City area. Um, my day job is I am the program director for a nonprofit called Connections to Success, where we help people um, break cycles of poverty, families actually, not just people, but families. And um, I'm also a volunteer with West End Connection, um, love giving back to the community. Um, also serve as a board member for Healing Pathway Victim Services of Kansas City, where we help the littlest co-victims of homicide in Kansas City. So have a rich history of public service and volunteerism in the community. And I absolutely love um, the idea of being able to serve the um, citizens of independence through the Human Relations Commission. Thank you, Helen. Next, we have Ms. Lupe Moy. Hello, my name is Lupe Moy. And um, as I collect my thoughts, I moved to Independence when I was 15 in 1971. So I've been here 52 years. And I went to Truman High School. And I worked for the state of Missouri for 35 years. Um, doing different things. My favorite job was being an advocate and doing child care and stuff like public assistance. And I started with human relations like 2012, I think, after I retired. And so I am the Samoan Commissioner for the um, Ethnic Enrichment Commission of Kansas City, and we just finished our festival this past weekend. And I have six children, 28 grandchildren, and three great-grandsons. And um, I think I did a lot of volunteer work after I retired. And I'm also from my church, I'm um, on the Public Affairs Committee. So we do different uh, service projects and and I'm on the Independence Ministerial Alliance and um, on the Samoan uh, Organization Community as a board member. And 
I like people and I do a lot of things with my children. That's how I do community services because I take them all with me. And um, I love being here with you in a diverse group and I send my best wishes to all of you. And I'm sorry about my hair, but I'm going to get a haircut tomorrow. <laughs> and I just had a birthday yesterday. I'm, I'm 67 and now my driver's license expired, so I better get that renewed. <laughs> and nice talking to all of you. That's my story. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Birthday. All right, the next on my list is there's someone called meeting guest. Is there someone on the phone that has joined us that's a member? All right, I'm going to move on for now. Um, next up we have is Mike. Please introduce yourself. Mike, would you want to introduce yourself, sir? Not Mike me, right? <laughs> yes, Mike you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There was a different name up there. There so. is. That's OK. Well, it's it's okay i'm going to go through the members first and introduce uh the staff people later oh, okay sounds good sorry about that my mistake that's okay um, thank you i've been around independence for about 15 years came to independence after i was in a car accident medical bills left me homeless so i was living on the streets in independence um kind of worked my way out of that into a house and a job and um, since I've got five kids that I've helped through high school, the fifth one just graduated, got a job with the independent school district. I'm so excited for him. Um, so anyways, um, so I've done that. Um, I also got really active in the community. Um, I've seen all kinds of different sides of the community. So I am on the board and member of several different organizations. Um, the Moose Lodges, the Jackson County Shrine Club, um, the Shriners, Masonic Lodges, um, I volunteer with special olympics um several several different um organizations so i've been with this commission initially with citizens with disabilities and then as it morphed into human relations and now it's morphed into this group so that's kind of my background thank you sir all right mindy meadows please introduce hi i'm mindy um, I was just going to say happy birthday to Lupe. Um, today's my birthday and I feel her pain because my first hour of the day was spent at the DMV getting my new driver's license. So <laughs> it's always a great way to spend your birthday. <laughs> um, so uh, during the day, I work um, at St. Luke's. Um, I've been there for almost 13 years um, and I work in the population health department as a pharmacy outreach specialist. Um, so we are um, in the primary care clinics, um, and so I assist the pharmacist there. So I'm a pharmacy technician, um, but I assist the pharmacist, and we um, educate patients on di disease management. And then one of my primary functions um, is to help them be able to afford their medications. Um, so I do a lot of like patient assistance applications and tracking those applications and re-enrollment. Um, I volunteer with West End Connection and Care Beyond the Boulevard as a pharmacy tech. Um, I actually applied um, for this role here about a year ago and then just got an email kind of out of the blue that there was a spot open. So here I am, it's my first meeting. So I'm excited to be here. And um, in my free time, I like to try new restaurants and practice yoga. Perfect, thank you. All right, uh, Sam, would you just introduce your, I'm sure everybody has had contact with you, but if you would just go ahead and introduce yourself and your role. Yes, absolutely. So I am Sam Morris and I have been with the City of Independence for, oh goodness, uh, almost 11 years now, a lifelong resident of Independence. So I uh, went to Truman as well. I did not know that Lupe and I both went to Truman, right? Right. Awesome. Uh, and I have been with the HRC for about two and a half years now and then as the staff liaison for probably right at a year, maybe just a little bit longer. So I'm here to help you guys with whatever you need. If we need a room, if you guys have questions about things, it does get kind of 
blurry and fuzzy when we need different motions and votes for different things. So I try and pop in as as best I can to help you with that. If at any point in time you guys need anything, I'm just a phone call or an email away. And um, but yeah, as the staff liaison, I'm here to to support you guys and make sure that you guys have what you need. Perfect. Thank you, Sam. All right. And uh, Officer Anka, are you able to chat with us and tell us a little bit about your role on the board? I am um, Captain Mike Anka. I'm with the Captain. Uh, I apologize. Department. Oh no, you're fine. Um, I've been a police officer for almost 30 years. I'm currently assigned to the community services unit, and I am your liaison to the police department if you guys need anything. Thank you, Captain. All right, and then we also have on here, uh, we have uh, Rebecca Barons. Rebecca Barons, if you would just want to introduce yourself and tell everybody why you're here. Using my official name, Thad. <laughs> I'm Becky Barons. I'm the city clerk. Uh, previously, I was the staff liaison for the Diversity Inclusion Task Force, which merged with Human Relations Commission. Um, overall, I'm just here to support you guys. If you guys need anything from me, I usually attend the meetings as time permits, but I try to make it a good concentrated effort to come whenever you guys are meeting. So if you need anything, just let me know. I'm available just like Sam is. Perfect, thank you. Um, and just to make sure uh, there is that meeting guest that is unlabeled. If they are here and able to chat and to tell us who they are and their role. All right, well, maybe not, but um, we're going to go ahead and move forward. But if if you get a chance to jump on and say if your technology is not working and you get it to work, just jump on and say hello. Um, all right, so next up is the vice chair election. So Sam, I'm going to let you lead this as well to see what the process is and what we need to be doing. Oh, fantastic. So it will be um, it, it is up to to the board how you guys want to do this uh, in previous in a previous meeting when Thad and Meredith uh, and Helen were selected uh, for your chair vice chair and secretary you guys openly nominated individuals and then what I did was I put them on a ballot sent them out via email and waited until I had all of the responses I gave you guys about 48 hours 72 hours to get those responses back to me and then I let the board know who the individual was that would be taking it. So we can do one of two things. Either A, you guys can email me with your recommendations and we can call it that way. You can email me, let me know who you recommend and even why you would recommend that person. I will give you until end of business today to do that. And then first thing tomorrow morning, I will send an email out to HRC that says, these were the two, three, five individuals that were nominated please have your selection to me by you know Thursday, if you will. Um, I will tell you I'm on a, a motorcycle trip Thursday and Friday, so I don't know my availability, what it will look like Thursday and Friday, but I will do everything in my power if that's the direction that you guys want to go. Uh, the other option would be you nominate, the second option is you nominate openly, and then you cast your vote for those individuals via email, and then I can let you guys know you know, either by end of day today, end of day tomorrow, something like that. So it's kind of up to the board. Is there, um, as sad as the chair, is there a particular way that you feel we should go? Well, I don't know. I could um, loosely ask right now, is there anybody who is interested in that vice chair position? I would be. <laughs> Nina, is it, Nina? I'm not interested, but can I ask a question of someone so I can uh, know something about them? May I ask a question now? Yeah. I would like to ask a question of Kevin Clark. Uh, Kevin, did you say you were part of the West End Connection? No, no. I don't. And how were you for, uh, familiar with uh, being part of us? Uh, so I... So I was like looking into just independence in general 
and city council and saw that there were some openings. And so I reached out to Sam and found out that she was uh, the staff liaison for this and applied and got on. I just that, like your smoothness, Kevin. I just wanted to know more about you. Well, thank you. Yeah, I think with, um, I love people most of the time uh, working in the performing arts and customer service. I do enjoy people and it's a nice contrast to my day job because I work on the IT side. So it's very introverted, a lot of tickets. And I don't get to talk to people. So any chance I get to flex that extroverted side and help out and give back, especially locally, I'm going to try to jump on it. That's what I needed to know. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Is there anybody else who would be interested in that position for the vice chair? I would. I got you, Mike. Thank you. All right. Well, I mean. And then I would open it up to nominations. Is there anyone that's on the board that would like to nominate an individual? Nina, go ahead. I would like to nominate Kevin Clark. Okay. Are there any other nominations? I don't know if she'd be interested, but I think another great option would be Helen Hurley. She has a great pulse on the community. She's got she just an incredibly organized person. I've met with her a couple times. She just really stands out as somebody that's very well organized. So I think she'd be a great option as well. She would be a great option. She's also our secretary. <laughs> I was going to say, we're <laughs> filling one hole and creating another. Sorry about that. <laughs> But I'm okay with that. What, <laughs> whatever we want. Helen, would you accept the nomination of vice chair? I would accept, and thank you, Mike. That was very nice. Anyone else? All right. So it sounds like we have three nominations on the table, Sam. So maybe you can collect those and then send that email out for everyone to kind of vote back. Yes, absolutely. I will apologize now. You are going to have eight emails from me today. So just okay. as a heads up, you're going to have six invites, one email with the roster, and then I would prefer to do the election separate from the roster. So you'll okay. have one additional email from. So I apologize to you in your inbox, but it'll be a little overwhelming for the next couple hours. No problem. All right, perfect. And then so do we want to get so that we get a vote back to you before by, by Thursday or wait by Wednesday? I was going to say if we could do if we could do maybe like four o'clock, absolutely no later. I'll shut it down at. Wednesday at 4 p.m. So that way I can email it out Wednesday by five before I leave, or I will email the group if I have each um, member that's already voted. If I have all the votes by Tuesday, then you'll get it Tuesday. Perfect. That sounds okay. great. All right. Wonderful. Thank you all. Uh, so other business uh, I have moving forward, Nina. Okay, then. And so other business would be business that we have done before, but we have new people and new interests. Uh, we do, really it was more of a organic skateboard tournament that we do uh, with the city. And we do it with the parks department. And it has, um, it's been going for about, I think, and excuse me, I get dates wrong, like I said, but I want to say seven years, possibly, we've been doing this, seven to six years. And why uh, I enjoyed being part of it, the skateboarders are a diverse group that have a passion for their community and uh, their age. They're young people, a lot of them. It's basically from five years old to... 50 years old because we have skateboarders here that are 40 going towards their 50s so i'll say 50. they are very dedicated skateboarders will be at the skateboard park 
and if you didn't know we have a skateboard park i can't assume people know these things i am so sorry we have a skateboard park it is in a uh, hill park at 23rd and maywood not on 23rd but if you were to go up the hill behind 23rd in that park there's a skateboard um skateboard park and like I said, they're a dedicated group of people because they skateboard rain, sun, and shine. They they love doing it. Skateboarding. One of the older skateboarders said, uh, the one in his 40s, he said it saves his life. Because if he didn't have that, what would he do? And he's had challenges in his life. So I, I think skateboarding is very important. And um, sometimes they're considered fringe. People, people that are skateboarders. My son used to be a French skateboarder who is 42 now. But they're very innovative, very creative. And Parks Department really supports that endeavor. So they have, they usually call about this time. So about two weeks ago, got a call from Jeff Umbright. Remember that name, Jeff Umbright. That is one of the most supportive, kindest people on in any situation in independence he calls us and he said you are having a skateboard tournament aren't you and i said oh, of course we're still alive we will be having it so he basically wants us to and it's really not us and don't get me twisted this is a skateboarders day they really help organize it they kind of like to see a date but it's up to them this is not anything we do we partner with them this is the skateboarders competition trust me on that and they are the board if you had like a pseudo board the skateboarders are the pseudo board and we're their helpers and their assistants so i wanted to make clear how that works but we usually do it in october and right now a tentative date would be the first week in October, which is October 1st, or the second week, the 8th. Now, what we do, and by the way, Anthony was all over it last, uh, last time we had the skateboarders competition. I don't mean to call you out and embarrass you, but he was really interested, and he came up there even though he had something else to do. So I appreciate you, Anthony, but uh, Helen came up and uh, donated. We do a lot of donating it, donating to it. And um, we really want to be up there with the skateboarders. It's a hard situation to explain. When you come up there, it's hot. You People that said they were volunteered to cook the hot dogs don't show up. So you got to look for one. It is chaos and happiness at the same time. It is a hard day. Even, even if you come up for half an hour and you help, he'd be like, "Woo, I got to go. So it's a hard day. I don't want anyone to be confused. But Thad last year, well, it, it was probably this year, Thad, because you, you've been here this year as president, made this one of the main projects for our human relations, him being president, to be part of. Thad's organization, and say it for me, Thad, because you know I won't say it right. I'll just call it Thad's organization, and it's everyone's. Would you ex explain your organization that supported and how they support young people? We, we uh, well, it's the Westin Connection, my nonprofit right. that I talked about as my introduction. And then we just financially supported. We gave money so that we could uh, have prizes for the skateboarders. Yes, and, and that's the hard part. I'm a free girl. I get a lot of free stuff uh, from people like the get giveaways that I like giving every year was backpacks. I worked for the school district. The school district said, take the dog on 10 backpacks. I did. <laughs> and it came, it worked out well. Uh, and that's one of the prizes, backpacks with little things in it for skateboarders and everything. Um, I don't explain things well, but I do things well. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, and when what happens is, as far as the things like Thad and Helen and, and Anthony and different people donated, Lupe uh, organization, the small organization has donated. Those are the things where you call out names 
and the skateboarders get prizes. Like uh, we had Dollar General certificates. Uh, we had, uh, I'm trying to remember, Quick Trip certificates. We have uh, anything like that that's close to the skateboard park for one. Quick Trip worked out good because that was uh, called out the name of an older person who drives there every day. This is a, a diverse group. So anything you have free to put in these backpacks, we do three different um, categories. You have advanced that skate like people you see on TV. We have the medium in the middle of people that skate really well. Uh, and so they're kind of like really good, but they don't do like advanced. It's scary. Then we have beginners and we have three categories in each of those first, second, and third prize. So that's literally nine different prizes that you get without calling names. Whatever we have, we, we accept. One year I got bunches of socks from that Bomba sock company. I gave everybody socks. It's so, it's such a community thing. You know, people talk community, but it really is community thing. community thing. And the thing is, it has gotten traction you don't have to live in independence. We had people come from Kansas one year because we had, um, and I can't remember if a city council person who donated the money. We have uh, prizes of money, $200 for this prize, $100 for this prize. But if we don't get it, we won't do that. But I'm just trying to say that this is really important to people and the group is diverse. We have preppy people from Blue Springs. I think um, they, and I call preppy is like, you know, they're not exactly skateboarders swag, you know, but uh, they came and at first they were kind of, the skateboarders seem kind of like me, kind of rough, rough around the edges, but the skateboarders are so smooth. And they got in there and there was a little bit of rough talking. I said, and I do not try to change the skateboarders. You may hear talk that a sailor talks, but the skateboarders run this. But when everybody comes, they have a good time. When the family uh, from Lee Summit and the one from Blue Springs, I called them the preppy family to their face. They said, this is so cool though. They, they left their kids there and they, you know, they competed. And that's just to say, this is a really big deal that's done on a real community level. Uh, we invite mayors, we invite city council people, we invite people, but if they don't show, we still do it. And uh, we did have a, a mayor come visit us though. Uh, mayor Weir, a previous mayor, she came in between meetings and it was so cool. And she came up with the skateboarders and we'll probably invite the mayor again but uh, I hope I've explained it well. And Thad's really good at this as far as, you know, getting the feeling of uh, the West End connection. I, I heard, and, and I would like to have meetings with Thad and the, the people, the arts council in the West End, they kind of wanted to do something there because it could even be paintings or posters people may have sitting out. Um, it's mostly grass, but it's a little concrete. And know this, the City of Independence, the Parks Department, they're the ones that have always supported this. They give porta potties. They send up three tents. They give us chairs. They give us tables. They come inspect you. If you serve any kind of food, do you know that even if you serve soda, you have to be inspected? Things to know if we ever do anything. And I didn't know that, but we have hot dog soda, uh, Lupe knows we've had cookies donated. Um, it, you know, if you could wrap up for me so that we have other new business that might need to be addressed. Oh, I didn't know you have more. I wrapped it up. I shut it up. Sorry. It's <laughs> over. It's over. But um, we probably need to get together if we can like this or people email, you know, call me 816-678-8902. Or call Thad, and we'll we'll give you the better feeling of it. Sorry, I get to talking about community things like that, but that's how I am. I'm good to go. I'm a soldier. Okay then. Thank you, Nina. Uh -huh. Mike, was there some new business that you had? Well, I had a couple old things. Last time that we did a meeting, 
discussed a couple things that I was going to look into. Um, access to Santa Caligon. Um, they still. Yeah, we able to meet, so we didn't come up with a great plan. Um, I'm still trying to work with a couple of the organizations that I'm in to see. We've got people that are ready to volunteer to shuttle people around um, between the parking and Santa Caligon. We unfortunately do not have, we've not been able to come up with any like golf carts or anything like that for them. Um, so hopefully by next year, since we've got meeting times now, we can maybe come up with, you know, a little better plan how we can make Santa Caligon a little more accessible. And and I'd like to see us kind of pick up, which is kind of the new business. I'd like to see us pick up some of the stuff that um, disabilities has kind of gotten left in the dust. Um, you know, we used to have some awards for businesses that we did, some things like that, that, you know, we, we used to do to try and encourage um, disability access in the community, um, which is now, you know, that's, that's rolled into this group. Um, the other older thing was um, we talked about the jail and, you know, kind of what happens with people that get arrested. Are we plugging them into resources? Um, those types of things. Um, I was able to talk to two or three people um, in Independence, and it sounds like they've got some resources. Um, a lot of it is short term and independent. So, you know, it's it's not not quite the same level as Jackson County or something like that. But one thing that, that jumped out at me that, that I was told is that roughly 25% of the law enforcement contacts with the homeless and independents are people that do not want any local, uh, local resources. There are people that have been here for jobs, lost their home, whatever the reason that they're here, um, their plans did not work out what they really want is to go home where they have family and community and friends and some kind of a support there that's what they're trying to do um so i don't know if there's something that we could start looking at or um i know i've lived in in places before that had a fund available if somebody you know had something that you know I, i've got mom and dad they can't afford to get me a bus ticket home but if i could get home i could stay there Try and get on my feet so i don't know if that's something that we can see if there's a direction that we could kind of help out with that um it seems like a win win if we've got 25 percent of the homeless population saying i have resources available if i could just get to them um sounds like it's a win for them and the city both so just that's kind of the update on what i'd found out perfect thank you all right is there any other new business to add in our last few minutes here. Uh, can I uh, ask one more thing that? Yeah. Uh, uh, Captain Mike Anka, because I was the one that mentioned when people came out of, because um, my church is next to it, when people come out of uh, jail, um, what kind of support they have. I had mentioned that originally. Uh, so maybe we, can we invite and I, I don't mind being one of them talking to Captain Mike Anka if Mike wants to go with me. I've always wanted to do it and I have done it, you know, on my own. But can we make that something so we have a list of things in support? We could have a meeting. If Captain Anka, would you be willing to do that? If he's still there. Yep, I'm here. Uh, whatever you need, I'm willing to do. So, uh, since someone has a willingness to do this with me now, uh, Mike, if you would, we'll schedule a meeting and us three will talk about it and bring it back to uh, the group, to the commission, okay? So that'll be one. Sounds good. And we can get together because I've already had a pretty long conversation with him as well. So maybe compare little notes too and be a little prepared. Yeah. So that'll give us something to uh, think about. All right. Perfect. Thank you all so much. All right. So if there's nothing else, anything else? Lupe? Oh, I just wanted to announce we have what they call a Samoan Flag Day every year. And I'm sorry, I was trying to think of the park. It's uh, right behind the Children's Mercy East. It's on Labor Day weekend. I'm just inviting everybody, but you don't have to come. It's just uh, ethnic activity for the Samoan people. 
And it's all day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm sorry, I can't think of the park. <laughs> but I just wanted to announce it. Thank you for listening. Everybody have a great day. Thank you, Lupe. Lupe? Uh-huh. What was the name of the festival during that oh, weekend? They call it Samoan Flag Day because all the Samoans get together in their customs okay. and they do traditions. We try to do it for the use to preserve our heritage. Thank you. I just want to make sure I have that for our notes. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I can't think of the park. Oh, you're fine. I'll figure okay. that one out. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Give me a call, Helen will carpool. <laughs> All right, is there anything else? All right, so let me just close up this meeting here by a couple of things for me. Um, so part of my goal as the chair of this commission um, is to bring some cohesiveness. I feel like we need to really strengthen our vision and what our purpose is and what we're doing. So I feel that that's only going to make our efforts stronger. And so that's going to be my goals in the future as decisions that I be, I'll be making on behalf of this organization is to really get a strong focus of what we're doing. Of course, working with everybody and figuring that out and also just encouraging everybody to remember that um, this uh, organization has evolved many times in many different ways. And so um, sometimes it's not good to linger in the past, but to look forward and to try to make things uh, toward the future of what we're looking for. So thank you all for being here and being a part of that. And I look forward to making that future a little bit brighter here in Independence with all of you. And with that, I have nothing else. And so I would call for this meeting to be adjourned. I'll make a motion. All right, it's up. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a great week. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Bye. everyone. Thank you. Bye, everyone.